right, guys, I'm back. Fifth annual symposium, and I want to take you to a table that you guys didn't have a chance to see. And uh, tell us, Tyler, you've been here the whole time. You got a table out today with some cool stuff, but you've also been here talking and presenting, yes. giving back. We really appreciate it, actually educating, supporting what we do here. But uh, tell us, what do you got here? What are you showing off? What we have here are, are two flagship combustion analyzers, the two main ones that we sell. We have our 030 model, which is our residential light commercial model, and we have our 130 model, which is our residential commercial model. Both of these are compatible with Measure Quick. Both of these oh, nice. are actually used by NCI in all their trainings. Oh wow! So that's a nice partnership that we struck up with both parties. So which has been which has been wonderful for us. Which I just heard from Eric Kaiser that NCI is the best place that you can get training. Yes, oh. NCI is the, is the absolute best training place, best entity for training. What I do in my combustion trainings is basically an appetizer. What they do is the main entree and the dessert. That's awesome. Um, That's awesome. But what sets us apart with these are such things as the longest sensor life in the industry. So we have a five-year oxygen sensor life, four to five-year CO sensor life, and four to five-year NOx sensor life. Whoa. Not only that, we have sensor life indicator in each one of these. So you see how much sensor life you have left, so you're never surprised by a dead sensor. Yeah. We also have an end-of-life indicator in the event that you forget to look at your sensor life indicator so you're alerted before a sensor dies. Yeah. We also have programmable pump cutoff for a carbon monoxide sensor. So a technician will never over-range or overshoot their CO sensor again. Blow the analyzer will always be active. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we also have up wow. to five different parameter alarms that you can set for min-maxes when you're setting up a furnace or a boiler. Okay. They give you visual alerts when you've hit them. Uh, Color-coded connections Basically, to the bottom. Basically, you pre-program it for the new guy, so there's not so many things missed or mistakes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you could change the order of what you see on your screen, so you can create your own pecking order. You can delete things you don't want to see on your screen. We also have an app that goes with it. So, in addition to being involved with MeasureQuick, we have our own app, okay. of which you can include such things as up to eight job photos in your reporting, okay. section for technician notes in your reporting off of the app, nice. customer and 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 technician signature sections. Um, customer database, equipment database, things of that nature. Okay. So we, uh, we've enjoyed putting these out to market. They've been very, very well received. And, uh, and in conjunction with my trainings, I also show these at the tail end of my trainings that, uh, so people get the chance to experience them if they want to. Yeah, awesome. Well, I uh, appreciate you bringing this by. How's the uh, conversation gone so far with people? Conversation's been great. The feedback's been wonderful, but it's nice to be amongst like-minded people. Yeah. Everybody that's attending something like this is all, tr all they're all trying to do the best job possible for the customer. Yeah, that's what comes first. Profitability comes second. Yeah. So if you're, they're leading with their intent to serve. Yeah. And then whatever happens after that happens, and luckily by doing the job for the for the for the right reasons, everything else seems to take care of itself. And it does. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. does. Yeah. That is a really cool thing about this group. Yep. Yeah. It's awesome. So uh, you got to actually speak and educate and help yes. um, help teach us as technicians here mm -hmm. and. Uh, if you didn't catch the whole thing, go back, actually check it out. But what is some uh, what are some points, some practical tips maybe that from that talk? So before? some practical tips are first off is protecting yourself. Okay. So not only is it, does a combustion analyzer do combustion analysis, but it can also act as a personal CO monitor. Hmm. So you can protect yourself your working life, yep. your earning capability, I and mean, then you can also protect your customer because yep. you can detect carbon monoxide in a space that maybe their mounted carbon monoxide detector they have in their home did not detect, or yep. their own building did not detect. In addition to that, one other tip is that one of the challenges we've been having with the way equipment is being installed, high efficiency equipment, is we have in, we have air coming back to the systems that is not the correct percentage of oxygen. So okay. you need to have 20.9% oxygen come back to a system for it to function correctly, especially on a, on a condensing system. Well, the only way to check if you have that is with an analyzer. Probe gets inserted midway into the fresh air intake, about okay. six to eight inches up, basically parallel from your test spot for combustion, for the most part, depending how it's lined up. And you're going to look at the percentage of oxygen on your analyzer screen. If it is not 20.9, you have cross-contamination, whether it is from the appliance you're working on or an adjacent appliance sure. or a neighbor's appliance. So if you're bringing in anything Something less than that, been, yeah. it could be potentially bringing back NOx down to that system, which will start to eat away and rot the mechanicals. Wow. So we need to make sure we have pure 20.9% oxygen. Like we're designed to breathe, yeah. our, the, the equipment we're working on is designed to take in that same amount of oxygen for it to function correctly. That's awesome. Sure. Cool, appreciate it. Glad to have you here. Uh, Thank thanks you. for giving back, and uh, hopefully the rest of the day goes well for you.
Great, it was an honor and a pleasure to be here, and I thank everybody so very much. Thank you to Brian, thank you to HJC School, and uh, it's been wonderful. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.